Okay, there's one more induction I would like to demonstrate on camera, and that's a variation on the Elman rapid induction. So, uh, Tebbets had a totally different rapid induction that he taught in the classroom, which involved gradually rocking the client around and around and then moving the head into the palm of your hand saying, sleep. Somebody jerked my head so fast I had a stiff neck for a week. And it totally turned me off on rapid inductions for several years and still, until I started teaching Charlie's course four years later and he insisted that I teach the rapid induction. So I used to be the one, the, the, one of the people at hypnosis networking meetings in the early 80s and mid 80s who argued against rapid inductions because of my bad experience at Charlie's class. But I can't judge other people's experience on the basis of mine or on the basis of the fact that somebody was too quick and jerky and failed to do the rapid induction properly with me in Charlie's class. And true to what happened in Charlie's class, I found many of my students resistant to the rapid induction. And uh, Gil Boyne had his own version of the rapid induction, which I did only once. And when I was uh, unable to stop the lady from um, folding her knees and had to pick her up off the floor of the classroom at Tacoma Community College, that was the first and last time I ever did a Gil Boyne rapid induction. And then I learned this wonderful rapid induction, which was a little bit of a variation on the Elman induction. So why do we have a volunteer for that? Come on up. Thank you. By the way, the water buckets induction is also a fairly quick induction, though not rapid, and it's good for a person with a short attention span. This one is also good for a person with a short attention span. And unless a person who has pain management has pain in their arm, there's a benefit in getting the person into hypnosis very quickly so that they can get past the pain because pain can be a distraction on the slow induction into hypnosis if you work with somebody for pain reduction. So I generally use a faster induction when I'm working with a client in pain. So uh, this involves, first of all, your uh, agreement to go into hypnosis. Okay, and I'm going to ask you to place a palm of your hand on top of mine. Are you ready to be hypnotized? Yes. All right, then close your eyes. Take two or three deep breaths. And as I start counting backwards, gradually increase the pressure on my hand, beginning with number five, gradually increasing the pressure. And when I give the suggestion to go into hypnosis, you can either let go completely or quickly. And on number four, waves of relaxation flowing from head to toe. And just push a little bit harder on the next number three, pushing a little bit harder yet, giving yourself the idea that when I give the suggestion, you can either let go into total trance or you can release yourself into deep hypnosis and taking a deep breath. And pushing even harder on the next number two, deep trance, releasing, relaxing, letting go, releasing, relaxing, letting go. Every sound you hear, especially the sound of my voice, making it easier and easier to go deeper and deeper. Starting from number 10, deeper with each number as I count backwards. Releasing, relaxing, letting go. Number 9, imagining a place of peace that's so calm and so peaceful that it's easier to release all the cares of the day as you enjoy relaxing and letting go. Number 8, deeper and deeper. Releasing, relaxing, letting go. And number 7, deeper and deeper. Relaxing physically, deeper with each number. Deeper with each sound. Number six, deeper and deeper. Relaxing mentally. Deeper because you choose. Responding to my voice. Number five, deeper and deeper. Relaxing emotionally. The deeper you go, the better you feel. Number four, deeper and deeper. Relaxing hypnotically. The deeper you go, the easier it is to enjoy going even deeper. And on three, double the hypnosis or triple the trance, releasing, relaxing, 
letting go and on on number two much deeper imagining a place that is so calm so peaceful so tranquil so serene and so relaxing it's easier and easier to go deeper and deeper on number one way down into the soothing tranquility of inner peace a very deep hypnotic peace releasing relaxing letting go and as i once again pick up your arm give me the full weight of that arm and when i release your arm into your lap you can release going even deeper releasing relaxing and letting go into the soothing tranquility of inner peace, a very deep hypnotic peace. And as you enjoy the journey, no matter how deep you go, you remain comfortably seated in the chair. And if there's a goal that's very important to you, just imagine that you have already achieved that goal. Imagine your attitude of gratitude and imagine how good it feels. Imagine your success so vividly that you feel as though you already enjoy success. And also for that occasional client where it's important to guide the client into hypnosis qu quickly. Imagine either using this induction or the other one I demonstrated as a way of getting that client into hypnosis quickly and easily. And every time you give or receive hypnosis, you develop confidence and confidence as you master the art of hypnosis. And you have the power to make it so, and so it is. And in a moment, I'm going to start counting from one to five. And as I do, allow yourself to gradually return to conscious awareness, beginning with number one, becoming a little bit more aware of the chair that you're sitting on in the room and the class and the here and now. And on number two, imagine feeling the way you wish to feel for the rest of the day. And on three, giving yourself the idea that any time and every time you get behind the wheel of a motor vehicle, you are totally alert and responsive to any and all traffic and road situations, stretching your muscles a little bit on number four, and when you're ready, eyes open on five, coming the rest of the way back. Great stuff, isn't it? Well, thank you for volunteering. Give her a round of applause. Could those of you closer to the front notice the rapid eye movement? Mm -hmm. Isn't it amazing how quickly you can go into trance? Mm -hmm. Now, I rarely use this induction, although whenever I trade sessions with a hypnotherapist or have a hypnotherapist travel to see me, the induction I use with a, one of my peers is whatever induction they choose. And oftentimes, another hypnotherapist will say, I'd like a rapid induction. So I'm really glad that I learned this one. I'm much more comfortable with this rapid induction than I am with the one I learned from Charlie back in 1983. I'm not saying it doesn't work, and I'm not saying don't ever use it, but if any of you see one of my older videos where there's a demonstration of that rapid induction, just be careful because if you move somebody forward and jerk their forehead into the palm of your hand too quickly, they can end up with a stiff neck like I did, and my neck hurt for a week after that experience. So it turned me off on rapid inductions for several years. And yet I should not have judged rapid inductions on the basis of my own bad experience. So fortunately, I modified my opinion after I got a little bit more enlightened, and I'm glad I did, because occasionally through the years I've had use of the induction that I just demonstrated. In fact, one time I was doing an induction workshop at a National Hypnosis Convention, and a volunteer for the rapid induction came up out of hypnosis with tears in her eyes, and uh, I was concerned that maybe some stuff came up. Instead, they were tears of joy. She told the room that she was so analytical that even her hypnosis instructor was unable to hypnotize her, and she said she was envious at some of her hypnotherapy students because they could go into somnambulism and she could never get there. So when we had a break, she asked me to 
uh, hypnotize her again so she could have one of her graduates take a picture of her in somnambulism <laughs> that she could post on the wall to show her students, yes, even I can be hypnotized. <laughs> that was one of my uh, cherished memories of doing induction workshops over the years.